Welcome back, all you fabricated flashbacks, to the super, not, funny show, Reviews! And today, I'm reviewing Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches, Episode 3. It's entitled Second Line, coming to you from AMC, streaming on AMC+. So, what did I think about it, and should you be watching? Before we get into the review, get down there, hit the like on this video. A uh, second line starts off uh, in a pretty crazy place, which is uh, with Rowan uh, Mayfair, or I guess she's not Mayfair yet, Rowan Fielding, uh, you know, having witnessed the murder of who she will eventually find out is uh, her mother and uh, being questioned by the police and everything. And most importantly, meeting her uh, great aunt Carlotta for the first time. Uh, which is, you know, she oddly enough seems to actually already know. Well, not oddly enough. I guess she did orchestrate uh, Rowan's, you know, being taken away from the house. Um, but she recognizes her and talks to her and everything. And then the rest of it sort of follows that where uh, Rowan, you know, sh stranger to uh, uh, New Orleans and everything, but sees a familiar face in the, in Cyprian and kind of, you know, uh, links up with him to, you know, as he says, to keep her safe, to find out what he's all about and what's what's everything that's going on. Uh, and that eventually leads to, uh, you know, eventually she she has led, you know, un unexpectedly to wander the streets of New Orleans and she finally f gets to formally meet Lasher, uh, the, the spirit. Um and, uh, you know, at the same time, we also find out that, uh, you know, Cortland Mayfair is up to something, but he's definitely in cahoots with Lasher uh, for something or, or other. And we also know, uh, we learn a little bit more about the Talamasca uh, that Cyprian is a part of and uh, the sort of things that they do and they look into. So um, all that being said, uh, what did I think about this episode? You know what? I really liked it. Uh, I thought Second Line as uh it's been doing something i always hope for uh shows like this that kind of get off to maybe a i don't even want to call it a rough start but just kind of like an okay start that that they're ramping it up that it's getting you know it's kind of building up uh and it gets getting better and better and better and so that, i definitely can say this is my favorite out of the three episodes that we've seen so far uh and maybe it's just because they've they've gotten out of the setup phase of this uh, story and now they're properly into it where we're you know we're entering the phase of where uh you know rowan is sort of stepping into a different world a new world uh she realizes that that was her mother uh that you know whose you know corpse she was holding uh in in the elevator that she never quite got to to meet and see um beyond that uh and she re realizing that there's a family there and but more importantly that she's turning to cyprian as a kind of a trusted face and a source uh, of information and also maybe some security uh, as she tries to navigate all of this. Uh, Cyprian himself, he's he becomes more of a character this time around. And you can kind of see, if you are familiar with the books, how he is a bit of an, you know, he's definitely supposed to be an amalgamation of uh, two, char two key characters. I think for simplicity and also maybe to kind of update the show in a, in a better way, they... They sort of meld him with, uh, uh, with uh, I guess I forget the guy's name. His name's Michael. Is a guy that, uh, who, um, I you know he he kind of comes into the story as a as a love interest for uh, Rowan, and it's clear that that they're probably going in that direction, and it's and it's fine. But he has a cool psychic power, uh, psychometry, uh, and it's we kind of get to see how how it works a little more in here. And I think we also see um, what the Talamasca is about, what sort of resources they have to bring to bear, how they sort of protect the building, because they are aware of Lasher and they're aware of what he can do, uh, which actually leads to like kind of the meat of this episode. Like Rowan meets Cyprian's sister um, and, you know, kind of, uh, you know, in a moment of, uh, I guess fire in the building. She gets lured out of the building, despite you know Cyprian saying, "Hey, don't go anywhere," and that gives Lasher an opening to, you know, sort of start the seduction process. 
Uh, and we see that he, you know, he's definitely a spirit and a shapeshifter, and his, he's able to sort of be more suggestive to Rowan to get her to sort of go along than maybe she normally would be. You know, you would think she would be on on a guard because he's been, you know, she's been warned about last year. But uh, she kind of gets, you know, a drink in her and, and the you know, kind of the allure of the city. And I think that that's actually something I really liked about this episode is that New Orleans is a bit more, I get at least the flavor or culture or whatever of New Orleans is a bit more on display. Uh, I mean, in a very stereotypical way, they, they're doing a funeral. But it does give an opportunity to show off, you know, kind of the ghosts or the spirits uh, that are supposedly around these, you know, these, uh, you know, wedding part not wedding, but uh, funeral parties. And it, uh, it it's actually plays in really well. But like for a once, kind of the weird, a little bit low rent way that they show kind of hallucination or, uh, you know, being under the influence or having spirits sort of, you know, being influencing, it actually works better this time. So when they're going, you know, to the, um, you know, the, the graveyard and all that, uh, the mausoleums, it actually looks pretty, actually looks good. Like I, I, and I would, any other time I would, you know, say something against it, but somehow the direction and this one actually is, is perfectly fine and on point. So, I did like that whole, you know, kind of the the conversation between Lasher and, and Rowan and to kind of see her fall under his spell until he kind of makes a misstep of leading her to the Mayfair house and then pretending to be her mom. And she, you know, kind of sees through uh, what he's going through. And when she goes back to, you know, talk with, uh, with Cyprian, you know, she can sort of see, you know, what's what's going on. So she's... As Lasher said, he's definitely going to be a lot harder uh, uh, to to get to uh, than than uh, she was, you know, maybe her her mom was. <clears throat> uh, and I did like you know Cyprian having a bit a bit more of a backstory that kind of ties him to the city, and I think it's going to be important later on uh, in the show. Uh, I, think I think the fact that he's a local is going to be important later on, and the uh, you know the bit with with Cortland. Uh, I mean. Uh, it's it's interesting, but I you know there's not really much uh, more to say except that he's aware of Lasher and he's working with him, and he's scared of him. <clears throat> and um, also, I and I forgot to mention that there's the bit with uh, in the past when we see uh, one of the I guess the Mayfair matriarch from back in in uh, Scotland, and to kind of see you know how you know. I guess we're going to see in bits and pieces how she became the matriarch of the Mayfairs. Um, interesting, but like ultimately, I don't. I'm not really sure how it tied into what we were watching. But uh, overall, I think that this is a very promising uh, episode. It's, it's promising good things in the future, uh, more interesting things. I think they need a little more of that supernatural uh, stuff going on, and I, I definitely need to. We need to see more of that. You know. Old South, you know, uh, you know, rich family plantation owner stuff going on. You know, all that stuff is going to have to uh, play in. And also, I'll be interested to see where Cyprian, uh, where what part he has to play in all of this, because uh, surely Lasher, he's got some power in the in the world, is not going to take the the interference of the talent mask lying down. So I'll be very interested to see where all of that goes. Uh, but anyway. Uh, those are my thoughts on this episode. What do you guys think about it? And what do you think about what I had to say? Get down to the comment section, leave your thoughts there. And of course, you can always hit me up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnys1 on Twitter. And uh, do me a favor, get down there, hit the like button on this video, hit subscribe and notification bell, all that good stuff. Helps with the algorithm so that more people see this channel and these videos. All right, all you Fabric in the Flesh bags, uh, thanks for joining me. Come back next week. I'm going to be reviewing episode four of Mayfair Witches. Till then, I've been Mode Poupe, your resident fabricant and comic extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace. <laughs>